Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see the recruitment news from Wipro. So Wipro is conducting a very big recruitment drive for 2021 batch that is for the immediate freshers. So if you have an engineering degree in uh, CSE or Triple or IT or EC branch, then you are eligible to apply. So please do watch this video till the end. Okay. So this is a very big opening for the freshers from Wipro. If you are interested in working with Wipro, please do watch this video till the end. And also I want to inform you that in this channel, we mainly focus on the topics, the numericals and also on the all exam preparations of electronics. So if you want to uh, study the various subjects of electronics, there is a separate subject wise playlist created and also I will be giving you all the major recruitment news daily. Okay. So if you are interested in either studying the subjects or watching the recruitment news, I would suggest you to please subscribe to the channel okay so in this video we are going to see about the recruitment drive from Wipro and this recruitment drive they are conducting to hire fresh engineering graduates of 2021 batch and if you get qualified in this recruitment the designation you are going to get is project engineer okay now moving on to the qualification details the qualification they are saying is B or B tech or five years integrated M tech you should be a fresher who are getting passed out in 2021 and your degree should be either BE or BTEC or 5 years integrated MTEC. Okay, so this is the basic qualification you should be having and only full-time courses are permitted to attend the drive. Okay, so if you are doing a full-time course, only then you are uh, you are eligible to attend the drive. Okay, and the branches they are recruiting is Computer Science Engineering, Information Technology and the circuital branches like Electronics and electrical and electronics and electronics and communication okay so these are the branches which are which they are recruiting if you belong to any of these branches and if you have a b or b tech or an integrated m tech you are eligible to apply okay now also they have given the qualification requirement for 10th 12th and your uh, cgpa requirement okay so let us see that nextly so in 10th examination for you or for your 10th uh, level 10th uh, standard you should be having 60 percentage of mark minimum 60 percentage or above okay and for your 12th class you should be having also 60 percentage or above and for your engineering degree you should be having 65 percentage or a cgpa equivalent to 65 percentage okay and also they have uh, talked about or mentioned about the backlogs or the arrears if you have arrears no problem but at the time of selection process or at the time of recruit, recruitment drive, you should be cleared with all your backlogs and arrears. Okay. And also they have uh, given that if you have attended the Wipro drive in the last six months, then you are not eligible to apply. Okay. So these are the certain criteria or their certain qualifications they, are they have mentioned in the notification. Okay. So this is the qualification details and the percentage details and everything. Now moving on to the salary they are offering. The salary is 3.5 lakh per annum is the salary. Okay. So this is a good or a decent salary to start with. And it is also Wipro which is a very good firm. Okay. Moving on to the selection process. The selection process will be happening in three stages. The first stage is online assessments. Okay. So in the online assessments itself, there are three stages of online assessment. First one is aptitude test. In that aptitude test, you have to answer logical ability related questions, then quantitative aptitude, English subject related questions, etc. So general questions you have to face from the quantitative uh, region, uh, from the reasoning and from English subject. The time duration for the first section of online assessment is 48 minutes. Okay. So after that, there is a written communication test. In that you have to give an essay writing type of examination it is so you have to write an essay and the time given is 20 minutes okay so that is the second uh, stage of online assessment the third stage is online programming test okay that is a coding test so basically if you see the freshers recruitment drive for all the mncs you can see that there will be online assessment in which you have to give the answers of aptitude related questions and also there will be a round called coding test that is this test that is online programming test here also they have included that okay online programming test is there for all 
big MNC recruitment drive for freshers I'm talking okay so this is the third stage of online assessment which is online programming test in that you have to answer two coding questions and the time duration is 60 minutes and also they have given that you can select a language from the three options the options are either C or C++ or Python okay so you can select these three languages from the selected language you have to give two coding related questions and you have to complete that within 16 minutes 60 minutes okay so that is the three stages or three parts of online assessment so totally for your online assessment itself there is 128 minutes given and also there is three sections three sections i'll brief once again the first section is aptitude related session in that you have to answer questions from general aptitude english and reasoning and then there is an essay writing then third one is a coding test so these three sections comprises of the online test okay so after you qualify the online test then there will be technical interviews plus after that there will be hr interviews so these three things are there in the selection process online assessment technical interview and hr interview this is the basic selection process of all the big mncs so if you are a fresher and if you are interested into working with any of the mncs this is an information for you if you are looking for a for, for cracking an mnc test or an mnc assessment you should be knowing that there will be an aptitude examination there will be some english subject related examination there can be essay writing or uh, there cannot be uh, i mean sometimes there will be or sometimes there may not be but there will be anyway a coding related test okay so these two things are compulsory or 100 percent sure there will be an aptitude related examination and then there will be a coding test okay so if you are preparing for any mncs please do get prepared yourself with this okay then there will be also technical interviews will be there then hr interviews will be there if you are a fresher i'm talking about okay so uh, that is the selection process now they have also given the dates for online assessment the online assessment will be between 11th of january to 17th of january so that is the time allotted for the online assessment for all the candidates okay and also they have mentioned the last date to apply the last date is 5th of january so there is enough time more than uh, two weeks is there time but don't wait till that please to apply for it as soon as possible so this is a golden opportunity for all the freshers i do get a lot of comments in the comment session that is there any recruitment drive happening for freshers or freshers eligible or not so this is for freshers of 2021 batch especially please do go through the notification if you think, think that you are eligible please to apply for it as soon as possible okay and if you found the video useful please do give it a thumbs up please do share with all your 2021 batch mates and if you are interested in watching more videos or more recruitment drive related videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching